The rising cost of prescription drugs is forcing many families to find the medications they need without a prescription in foreign countries, even at places like local flea markets. But those alternatives raise legal and, of course, safety questions. So tonight, Channel 2 goes undercover, revealing where these drugs are being sold, and we're testing them to find out what's in them. Here's investigator Amy Davis with the Consumer Alert. was a tip call that led Channel 2 Investigates here, roaming the maze of merchants selling saints and sports jerseys. The white elephant flea market in Channel View has a little of everything. Sandwiched between the jewelry and Jesus, we found what we were looking for. This is for the skin. You're going to have to continually buy these pills. In a matter of minutes and for 50 bucks, we purchased three types of prescription antibiotics. Tetracycline for acne, ampicillin for an ear infection, amoxicillin for a sore throat and Viagra for good measure. The pills are very good and very strong. If you don't need them, take half. We paid 10 bucks for 20 tetracycline tablets or 50 cents each. In comparison, we could get them at Walmart for $2 50 cents each. The real problem is you have no idea what's in these medicines. Associate Special Agent in Charge Jeffrey Scott with the Houston Division of the Drug Enforcement Agency says his office doesn't regulate these antibiotics because they're not considered narcotics. That doesn't mean they're safe. You're basically taking a medicine that's not prescribed for you and it's being given to you by someone who's not legally authorized to prescribe it. And to me, that's a recipe for uh, disaster anywhere. State law makes it illegal for anyone other than doctors doctors or pharmacists to sell prescription drugs and even for individuals to possess them without a prescription. But Dr. Barbara Troutner says patients should be educated, not punished. They're turning to unregulated sources, the internet, buying it in a flea market, a buying of veterinary antibiotics from the pet store. Not because they're trying to do wrong, because they're trying to take the best care they can of themselves or other people. These drugs were made in El Salvador, not subject to the same safety standards as American medicines. We just don't know how safe it is. I mean, we don't know what's in that. To find out, we took the drugs to Expertox Lab in Deer Park. They are very potent. Owner Dr. Ernest Lakissa confirmed these drugs are what the vendors told us they are and the correct strengths. But there are other concerns. He said test results show elevated levels of metals like magnesium in the tetracycline and ampicillin and magnesium and aluminum in the Viagra that he said would cause joint pain. We're protected by the FDA. I mean, I don't know who's, who's inspecting these medications. Back at the flea market, this woman was full of advice for taking the amoxicillin for ear pain. The first two days, it's every six hours. And then when the pain goes away, it's every eight hours for another two or three days. Tetracycline can cause kidney damage if the drug is exposed to the heat or if it breaks down after it expires. If someone on blood pressure medication takes Viagra, they could have a heart attack. But our photographer wearing a hidden camera didn't get any of those warnings. Hello? And when we tried to ask the people selling the prescription drugs about these issues... We purchased four different kinds of prescription drugs from you on camera. They refused to answer our questions. The State Board of Pharmacy says it has no authority over the sellers because they're not licensed pharmacists. Local and federal law enforcement are focusing their efforts on opioids and other dangerous narcotics. Doctors say they think the best way to solve this problem is by educating the public of the dangers of taking prescription medicine without a doctor's supervision. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News.